Hi there. I had a problem with Iron Cube loaders the other day. Basically, I had a WordPress plugin, wouldn't activate, and kept telling me that I needed to load the Iron Cube loaders 5.2. Um, I decided to make a video on how exactly I did that. So, first of all, if you have this problem whereby uh, uh, trying to activate a WordPress plugin tells you that you need these loaders, first place to go is to your favorite search engine and type in Iron Cube loaders. Now, this is to load the Iron Cube 5.2 loaders onto your site. Now, many of the the hosts these days have Iron Cube loaders already, um, but a lot of them seem not to have the up-to-date ones. So, if we click on the Iron Cube loaders, and here they all are, the first step you need to do is choose the right one for your server for your host server. Uh, if you're not sure which format your host server uses, then go to your blue your hosting account. I'm using Bluehost. Now I'm not 100% certain if this technique works with other hosts. It worked for Bluehost and I'm pretty sure it'll work for other hosts that use cPanel at least. Log into your Bluehost account or your hosting account, scroll down and basically check the operating system. Uh, Bluehost is a Linux and the architecture is x86-64. Um, so that's what we need to look in our loaders. We need to look for the loaders with that architecture. Here we go, Linux x86-64. I want to download the zip files. Okay, so you click that and you save the file to your computer. It's 3.1 meg might take a bit of time, 3.2 meg. Okay, once that's downloaded, go into your Bluehost account, go to your file manager, sorry I have to blur all that out, obviously I don't want to advertise all my sites. And when it's up, what you want to do in the very root directory, in the basic home forward slash your site directory, you want to create a folder called IronCube. Uh, if to create a folder, basically just click on the your home directory, press new folder up here and call it IronCube and save. And then what, what you want to do, you want to go inside that IronCube folder. As you can see, I've done this already. You click on the IronCube folder and you want to press upload. Before you do that, you need to check the download from the IronCube loaders and basically you need to extract that file if you have winzip or winrar you need to extract this iron cube loaders file to somewhere let's put it on the desktop okay so if you go to the desktop now you will see iron cube folder and you have all these files now the only ones we want are 5.2 you can add 5.3 if you want I haven't come across anything that requires 5.3 yet, but 5.2 is the one I was having problems with, so these are the ones I have to upload to my Bluehost account. I presume the other ones are already available for Bluehost. So now I know where those are, I go into my file manager, I click upload, leave the permissions as they are, browse to your desktop or wherever you've put the, the Iron Cube folder, find the iron cube folder and click on one of the 5.2 files you need to upload them both so if you do it the first time do that one press open and it will start to upload automatically to your file and then do the same again for the second file so basically you're just uploading those two files to your newly created iron cube folder on your server so what you end up with is this, within my Iron Cube folder here, under the root of my uh, server account, my, my Bluehost account, I have these two files. Alright, that's good so far. Now what we need to do is we need to link these files to a PHP file. To do that, you need to go back into your control panel scroll right to the bottom and click on PHP config okay I'll leave it on PHP 5 single PHP any um, 
the reason I leave it on that one is that I want all the I want this file to govern all of the subdirectories. I have many different domains under the, the single host. Um, so I want this PHP to be available for all of them, so I don't need to copy and paste this into every single domain name. But the main, the most important thing is that I want to click this install default php.ini iron cube and install the php.ini master file. And it's successfully installed. Excellent. Okay. Again, across into your file manager, into your public HTML, scroll down to your PHP, again I apologize for how much of this I have to blur out. Okay, we've got PHP any, uh, PHP any backup, obviously a backup was done yesterday. Um, and PHP any default, this is the one I've just created. PHP any default. Okay. Now what you need to do is you need to open this PHP any default because this is now the one that we have our loaders, our Iron Cube loaders connected to. Okay, and to open it you press edit. So you need to edit this. Edit Okay, so now you've got your PHP any default file open. You need to scroll right to the bottom. And you'll see here, these are the, uh, the Iron Cube modules that Bluehost already has. Um, from my experience, or at least on my server, there are only up to 5.1. So we need to add another couple of lines. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the one I've done already. Uh, and it'll show you the difference between this one and that one. So if I go into my PHP here and edit this scroll down and the rest of it should be exactly the same because I've done this recently but you'll notice that I now have these two lines here okay the, the other one just these two the PHP modules Zend optimizer and iron cube loader the new one I basically it's exactly the same as the first two in other words it says Zend underscore extension, but instead of the USR lib64 PHP file uh, folder address, it has the the address of where I put my Iron Cube files. So basically, in the root home, the site name, Iron Cube folder, and the name of the file that I uploaded. Uh, and remember, because there was two of them, we have two address lines. I'll put these two lines on the actual website so you can copy and paste them. And all you need to do is copy and paste that into there, save it, and then final step, because you've just done that into your php.ini default, you need to delete your php.ini and then change the name of php.ini.default, rename to php.ini and save okay and once you've done that this file now becomes the php.ini it now has the, the files the iron cube loaders that are up, have been uploaded to your iron cube directory linked to the php.ini file okay these are the two files that we've just uh, linked in that php.ini file so I need to do copy and paste that from my website into the PHP ini default and save it as php.ini and once you've done that just refresh it all reload it all and you should have no problems activating your new WordPress plugin I hope that wasn't too quick I hope that wasn't too complicated thanks for watching